Yeah, to answer Frank's question, we have a lot of brand new features in here because not only do we have two new gimbals, the RS3 and the RS3 Pro, but we also have a brand new video transmission system. But first, I just wanna see how good does the footage look when we shoot with this thing. So this mount here is actually the tilt mount, which was designed for the RS2, but works just fine for the RS3 Pro. It kind of works with the RS3. And this whole thing is attached to something called a Move Max N2 Mini, which is supposed to help absorb a lot of the vibrations and shock from vehicle stuff. Like even times like this, I can just hit it once, it locks into place, so now I can work on it, do a lens swap or whatever. It's such a cool feature. But the RS3 Pro locks inverted like this, how it's hanging. The RS3 does not. It only locks in the upright position. So in that case, it would just flip over. Let's go shoot. Yo, what's up? Are you ready for some really cool shots of you? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. This is one of our heavier cameras. We got this hanging off the back and we're chasing Jonathan. So we're gonna test this thing out at high speed, see how it hangs. Get it? It literally hang. You like that? You like uh, what I did there? Very, hangs. very well. Get it? Yeah, I thought this 85 might be too tight, but just the parallax you get just looks so good. And the separation, we're all the way wide open at F2.1. Just maybe not the smartest thing since I'm pulling my own focus right there. Oh, we got a little bit of flare too. Yes, I got a little tilt up too. Some tilt up action, mother Imagine if this are anamorphic flares yeah. though. Oh, it's really good. I'm honestly pretty impressed that I was able to hold this with an 85 and still keep it pretty stable. We're gonna go a little bit easier, go 35 mil now. Ready for round two? Whoa, the 35 feels so different. Nice and wide this time. All right, Jonathan, now try to get onto our right when you can. Yeah, right there. Oh man, this gimbal's going smooth with this setup. I'm liking it. Oh, we even got some birds in the back. I kind of want to get the Arnold Schwarzenegger shot now where you just shoot really low and make Jonathan look huge. How low do you think we can get this before we have to worry about it hitting the ground? Like that, it'll actually touch the ground. So that's too low. A little bit higher. We've got enough clearance, right? Like, look at that. We got like inches. It'll be worth it, I think. Hopefully, maybe not. All the textures on the street look so good. So this is the street our coffee shop is on my way. The street of coffee coming soon. Bright orange on the left. Oh, right there, see, he just passed it. See it, it was in the background very briefly. Yeah, no, okay, we missed it already. But this is the street. Go ahead and pass us. All right, good. Pass us a little bit slower this time just because our joystick's not very fast right now. Yes, perfect. A little closer, yeah. And then hold that right there. Yes. 60. 60 miles per hour right here. Dude, how close is your tire from the lens? Because it feels close. <laughs> That's a wrap, kid.